Coming at you live from Bloodstock. It's the year 2023, year of our Lord. I'm just hoping we're in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're back here at Bloodstock 23 um, with my personal band of the weekend, Adam here from Royal Republic. What a show! What a show! I know, I know. <laughs> So, no, it was amazing. A lot of fun today. Um, as you mentioned on stage, uh, Bloodstock is it's a metal festival. Uh, and as you will admit, you're a, a, a pop band of sorts from uh, from Sweden. When when you looked at the, the festival and you looked at the normal lineups and you saw yourselves, was there honestly a bit of apprehension or did you just... No, I, I welcome it. I truly, truly, I like some of my personal best Festival memories come from a festival called Sweden Rock Festival, yep. which is a very niche. Like you, you maybe you know of it. That's a, you know, um, and I found like the the rock audience or the metal audience uh, are one of the most open-minded audiences that I know. And being a very like we say eclectic band, that we kind of we don't give a shit about genre boundaries. We don't know what to call ourselves. And I'm not being fancy. I'm just saying no, true, I true. don't I don't care. Uh, I don't. I don't want music to stop here and start there and end here, you know. Music is all over and that's how we write. Um, did you actually expect to get that many people when you stepped out on stage though? Is I, I think we had no idea what to expect, really. I think we, we came here very uh, just open to anything. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, like we, we do the same show regardless. Of course, like getting this kind of payoff is just amazing and makes it more, adds to the flavor. Yep. But uh, so, you know, great day. Here. Yeah, and you've got another UK date on this run at least, haven't you? Do we? Uh, Firebolt Festival. Uh, we had one, yeah, last night we was played. That, was yeah, was Firebolt, it? yeah. Yeah, does uh, have interest? How did that go? Because that's a different audience, isn't it? It's more of a rock that was a di That was a more mixed bag. Uh, yeah, more more like countryside. Uh, but very, very um, familiar, like family, cool family vibes. Yeah. Uh, also very, 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 we had a really good weekend. Best weekend we had in the UK for a long time. Yeah, cool. That's a wasp. Except for the wasps, wasps three. <laughs> So, uh, you mentioned on stage, uh, heading towards working for another album. Um, I know, uh, I, I last saw you, it would have been about five years ago, I think, at Glasgow Garage, five or six years back. Um, then, something happened, for, so we couldn't travel for a while. And then something else happened in the UK, which meant travelling for you was quite quite awkward. So I know you're going to be over here with um, Skindred, I believe. That was the plan, yeah. Yeah, just tell people what happened. Because I'm on your side with this. No, but now really it just became like well, there was a budget and uh, we can't ignore the budget no matter how much we would like to. Um, yeah. And uh, the uh, the risks of like going here during the pandemic uh, with, you know, the rules in place that if you're infected, you must quarantine for this and that long. So if one of us were to catch it while here, it would totally ruin the whole thing. And we couldn't get the money back because there's no, in there no insurance to cover it. So it was just like... It's it's too it's too difficult. It's too red. It's too much in the red, and we can't. It's it would be completely irresponsible to do it. Yeah. Um, so we we said you know let's put this let's put this money into new new music or do something constructive with it. We, we can always come back. Like we'll make it work. We'll come back. And it sucked because we really really wanted to go out, especially with Kindred. You know. Yeah. It's a great band to deal with. Yeah yeah. So uh, the new album you mentioned hasn't been written yet. It's good. It's good. Well, yeah, it's mostly written. Awesome, yeah. But not recorded yet. And I'm trying well, to it, it exists in my iPhone, like <laughs> demo versions. That was, that's usually how we make albums. Like we make yep. the album once, like full on, yep. and then uh, we record it one more time with more expensive microphones. Like that's. <laughs> so I have it. I have it here. But if this man disappears somewhere over the weekend and his pockets get rifled, it wasn't me. Okay. Um, so. The, the, the proper more expensive microphone recording will take place at some point in the near future. Um, when I saw you touring last, you played it was Glasgow Garage and similar venues, which are maybe about a thousand capacity. You're now playing to audiences like this, which I'm sure is going to help you. Are you like to be coming back to the UK tour? Is that the hope, maybe? Of course. I mean, um, we would have come back sooner if it was our cho choice alone, you know what I mean? Um, the planets aligned here for this weekend, and uh, so we're just happy we got to do this. There are a couple of things up in the air in, uh, in spring next year. We, we just, I just don't know yet. I can't really say anything else. But I do know that we're going into the studio and we're uh, making the album. Hopefully we have a single up before Christmas. Um, 
and uh, you know, then it's then it's full on. That's the regular thing. We start over again, and the UK is sure to be a part of that. Uh, another thing you mentioned on stage there was obviously you're, you're a, a repressed metal metal fan. Uh, you'd much rather be playing real music rather than silly poppy stuff. Um, <laughs> I, what, what were your favourite bands? I mean, obviously you've, you've gone a slightly different direction, but which, which bands when you were younger were you like, I want to play their music? Well, I mean, the, the first band that I came out of, you know, I grew up in a family of musicians. So yeah. both my, my my mom and my dad uh, were both musicians. and So I got, you know, the Beatles from them. I got I got Pink Floyd from them. I got Led Zeppelin and I got Eric Clapton and Tom Petty and, you know, Excellent. whatnot. Earth, Wind and Fire, like and, and everything. Miles Davis. Um, and so uh, my first, like, very own thing, I guess, was Metallica. Like coming in, Nirvana and Metallica at the same time, which kind of then transitioned into like Toto and Dream Theater, and like the slick side of life, you know, slick side of music and the more technical stuff. And then uh, I don't know when I started getting into, you know, the, like the uh, Gothenburg, the Swedish metal scene, like Soil Work and Flames, that kind of stuff. And then that kind of branched into like decapitated Cannibal Corpse, Morbid Angel, Nile, like you know. Um, so, so I just, um, it, it's still in there. Yeah. It's deeply rooted within. You can't really get rid of it. Is that the first time you've actually had a chance to really rattle out some metal on stage at a festival or, or a gig before? Have you done it before? If I say if I say no, I, I would be lying. Uh, so uh, yeah, it, it has happened on occasion, <clears throat> occasionally that we uh, that we bust out a metal cover or, or three. Yeah, yeah, which is the most enjoyable part of the set for me personally. Yeah. Uh, well. As I said, it was a fantastic set. I was watching the crowd, the security guards in front of me, the crowd behind me. There was not a single person who wasn't grinning from ear to ear. It was fun. Cool. And with the sun out and the weather, and a weekend like this, the few beers, what more do you want? So Adam, all I can say is thank you. And thank I you. I cannot wait Pleasure. to see you guys again. And honestly, for anybody who missed it, I know I go on about bands I like, but there's reasons for it, all right? Uh, when the new album comes out, stream it, buy it, and if they, if they sell tickets, go and see the show. Anybody who's at Bloodstock this morning will tell you the same thing. Cool. Adam, On that uh, note. Thank you very much indeed. Thank Cheers. you for having me. Pleasure.